Day two started off with some hand-to-hand -hand skills. Other than some light boxing, I have never done this kind of stuff before. Listen, you're just being shy about it, okay? So keep it, keep my wrist deep. Good. Shoulders right here. Anchor me down a little bit. Good. Now put the put it in here. Okay. Now I want you to roll your shoulder or your elbow just a little bit. Good. Keep your ear tight. Now it's hard to come out. Because here's the thing, like in a fight, right? I'm gonna be able to grab the back of your head. Yeah. And I'm gonna be able to pop this arm. Now I'm defending to what you're doing. See, see, you're see still in control. So where's that knee coming? Boom. Right? Yes. That's a good idea. That's it. Okay. Not today, but yes. Okay. Now you go to do that, right? My instinct is gonna be to go here, right? But yes. You're all. It's the dance. You're leading the dance. Now push down and roll. Keep going. Good. That hurts. Yeah. Good. Can you feel it? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That hurts. Good. I couldn't feel that. It doesn't hurt that bad. Right? But, yeah. that, but that's what you did. You got some, but that's where you lock, yeah. you lock that out. So every time I stopped what she was doing to me, she was pressuring me. She kept me constantly defending. Constantly on the chess game. She's moving and I had to follow her suit. Next was techniques to get out of a bad position. It wasn't easy, but with work and learning the techniques, it will become easier. The hardest thing is running out of breath. You get tired. There is no one in this room. You do want to slow down. You want to be able to do what we call pie, and we'll get into it a little bit. Okay? You want to be more methodical. All right, so right now we're going to do some room clearing stuff, but real quick, I just wanted to thank True Spec again for these clothes. They're really awesome, really comfortable. Got them a little bit dirty from rolling on the floor, but that's all right because they still work. And they're cute. That would also be an immediate danger area. Although I came from the outside, if I didn't know what was over here. If I already knew that was clear, then that's not an immediate danger area for me anymore. All right, so right now we're room clearing. We're just gonna go in there with our rifles, got our pistols, and just clear the room. Um, cut the pie, kind of. You ready? Yep. It's on you. Right here, um, I'm not exposed to either one. So I can clear this, clear this, clear this, clear this, and it's clear. So is that, that probably sense? the most risky point when, the, like, if someone's sitting on that seat? Absolutely. Because you don't know. Right. right, but then put it in context. All right, so I just cleared the room. Um, so I did good the first time, and then I, I went a second time because there was a few things I could critique. Like when I first entered the room, I had my rifle straight out like this, but instead, second time I brought it in like this so it makes it a little bit shorter so if someone's like right there against the wall they can't just grab my rifle and control it I feel like it went pretty good I'm, I feel like I'm getting more confident with room clearing I did another room clearing class before this and that'll come out on a, another future video but I feel like I'm getting better at room clearing and understanding why you cut the pie and certain angles you take and stuff like that and it's nothing like you see in the movies like when you watch the movies and you see cops clearing houses and buildings and rooms they're always like their back is up against like the wall and they're like this it's nothing like that it's totally different techniques tactics and i think it works and it's awesome i'm having a good time so
Right here, coming through. Careful extending your muzzle pass. Good job getting it in at three. Here on this wall. And when I say follow the door, I don't want you to stick right on it. Yeah. Reason being is I think slow, smooth, smooth is fast, still coming on with it. When you're also when you're you're in here, you saw look good, you're coming back in. Do you want to like kind of observe when you come back in? Because someone could have popped through. Exactly. You're, you're never safe. Yeah. And you just with a certain single person. Also, things that you can use to help you out. I didn't really see you jump or move quick anywhere. You just yeah. you were just disciplined, moving, and flowing. That's all it is. it is. It's just slow and smooth, smooth as fast as they yeah. always have taught you. At the same time. It's sketchy in here because there's a lot of spots. And there's a lot of spots. Right there. Yeah. Right there. It's good. This is what you run with. It's yeah. basic. So just take all this food for thought. Nothing wrong, nothing right. This is just a scenario. And then, yeah. okay, what do I do next time? Right, good job. Yeah. No, you did good. Thank good you. job. You're welcome. All right, so we just cleared another room. And instead of my rifle, I used my pistol. And I think I did pretty good, but some also some things to work on and think about is when you're coming through like a uh, room, don't you know? Don't extend your arms. Keep that. Keep that pistol in close because you don't want someone to like grab it and take control of it. And also, when we went through the room with the pistol, there's a lot of more a lot more open doors and there's places to hide and everything. So you just gotta kind of be aware. And every situation is gonna be different depending on what the situation is and what's going on and if you have to be quiet or quick or slow. So it's always going to be random, but you want to be fast, but you want to be smooth. Yeah, I think I did pretty good though, and... Start back. You're always cheating. <laughs> Damn, Rick. I, I, I know you're from Clifton. I know. I live there. It's in the water. you're gonna get you, you got to it's a zero yeah. but I would recommend getting any other spend money one thing guys with the red dots we're not we're not sniping we're rifle you're gonna get fatigued once you get fatigued it's gonna be oh uh, when that dot gets on the target press the trigger you want to go big or go home one, yeah, we'll get rid of that. two, six. I got you. I'll just make sure you don't fall back. Three. 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 Exhale. Nine. Do one more. One more. Ten. All right, good. Got it. Step. We need to get some different weight. Good job. Good can you see out of that optic? No. I got okay. There you go. Two. Three. I thought it was prone. I'm sorry, prone. Thank you. Pistol, head, transition. Five. Five Go. shots. Lock and clear. Lock and clear. Oh. You can holster. Go ahead and holster. It's fine. 
Alright, good job. Oh, I missed you. Alright, so we, lo we lost a round, right? Yeah. Side offset is a thing. Sorry, CJ. My bad. I know I'm about, I'm about to leave. <laughs> it's all my fault, so I'll... Hey, uh, Definitely. Hey, hey, hey guys, uh, we gotta keep moving. Can we talk about yeah, that? Sir. Yeah, Yeah. Oh, crap. You good? Come on back. Class was over, and I want to send a big shout out to the other girls in class. You girls did awesome, and it was great having other women in class. Big shout out to CJ from Big 3 East Media for throwing me in the class. And a big thank you to Brian. He helped us out and he took care of everything. We appreciate it, Brian. Got my certificate. I completed. All right, so we just finished. We're done with the class. This was day two. And we did a lot of different stuff than the day before. We did like vehicle stuff, we did clearing room stuff, we did um, like ninja stuff. <laughs> kind of run, run, running and smoking people stuff. Yeah, and it was a lot of fun. It was new stuff and it was like little detail, detailed things that I've never learned before, so it was good. Um, how do you guys think I did or what can I improve on? She, she shot the glass, she shot the vehicle she wasn't supposed to shoot. I'm All right, I'm just put. You see my face? Do I look happy? Don't shoot the vehicle. Don't shoot the vehicle. She shot the vehicle. Muzzle offset. <laughs> Muzzle offset. I was shooting on my left side out of the right side, so. She trying to do her bilat <laughs> step. Now you did good, and we're figuring out. What I like is that we figured out. Just took the time with the optics. Yeah. About what optics does actually work for? Because she has a hard time right now with the with the zero reflex. So little things that we found out. I think she did a great job. Aside from shooting the vehicle, she did she did a great. And they told us not to, but job. they said the blue car, not the jeep. So. Oh, all right. this is semantics. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, great job. I think she did a great job. She's always welcome back. You are welcome back, and not just Thank because you. you're a, a Mason Mesa Maverick either. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, Central High School. Both. Yeah. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Don't you? And she's lippy too. Always being lippy, Sassy. telling us what to do. Sassy. Sassy. You have to be. Yeah, around us. Yeah. Any, anything? Or you, uh, yeah, no, I, I think she did great. She was safe. Um, she showed good fundamentals. Um, she had a good attitude to learn. She did very well. She was very receptive to the material, and she applied it very well. So I think you did excellent. Good yeah, job. Brian, yeah, thanks for having me. Oh, wait, did you well, want Well, when your first experience is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and it's on concrete on a super dirty floor, and uh, kind of a real environment, you adapted really well. You took to the technique very well. You understood in-fight weapons access, retaining. So, I mean, as an introduction in a really kind of hard target area, you did an awesome job. Thank you. And you guys are good teachers. You know, you went through it nice and slow and 
You guys were nice. Ish. Even me? Yeah. Well, yeah. She looked at me and said ish. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she's right. This can, side, your left side was really nice. nice. You, but. Yeah, and she, she's not wrong. <laughs> she's not wrong. Sure. Uh, company's name is Battle Line. Don't ask me how I found that name. It was just a couple songs I was listening to. All the cool domain names were gone already, so that's how I figured it out. Um, but we have a uh, we have a Facebook page, of course, and then where you can find our schedule at. You also can go to uh, my web my web page, christonoprano.com. It's on there, and it shows all of our classes and whether they're open enrollment classes or whether they're a private class too. Most of our classes are open enrollment. Yeah, so come to a class. It was great. I learned a lot. I got dirty and sunburnt. And it was a lot of fun, cool people, everyone in the class was really good, so come to a class, you won't regret it. For a 40 minute in-depth video on this class, go to my Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash American Gun Chick. See you next Gunday Monday over at YouTube.